create the different types of the graphics. See, as a computer engineering students, you want to create the flow charts. Electronics and telecommunication or electronics engineering students wants to create some printed circuit board layouts, semiconductor diodes, transistors, and many many such electronic devices. They want to use it, create the layout. Someone will create the block diagram. Someone wants to create some linear, non-linear type of the graphs. Some designs you want to create. Some colorful diagrams you want to create. So graphics editor is required, and very good graphics editor is available for the engineers, and its name is Xfig. Xfig is readily available on Linux system. But if you want to use it onto the Windows system, its clone is also available. That is a WinFig, W I N F I G. So why the Xfig graphical package or this graphics editor? You are going to use it. Say in your report, you have the text, mathematical equations, tables, as well as figures. So how to create it? You will say that. that is very easy we we have the some tools but at the same time whenever you are using the any graphics related editor whatever the figure you have the figure should be of the very good quality already i told you whatever you are doing with the help of the latex system that you can use it for the presentation preparation you can also create the posters the poster is of the large size so this much large poster you want to create for your conference and then whatever the figure you have in your report if you want to use it that is of the small size in the report but here the size is will be very very large and when the magnify your graphics you will observe that there is a blurring lot of blur you will observe lot of checkboard pattern you will observe we don't want it i want to increase the graphic size to any extent for the print purpose let's say for your i triple e any festival you want to create a very large poster say the 20 feet by the 10 feet large poster you want to create it and then you will say that okay mera many monogram many, many graphs are there something is there important graphics is there and when you want to increase it the blur happens to avoid it if you use the xfig create a graphics here create a figure here create a block diagram and then you will observe that you can increase that size of your graphics to any extent why is it so that we are going to discuss say xfig xfig can create the what, what we are going to discuss here vector images what do you mean by the vector images what do you mean by the bitmap images or the raster images and the vector editors what the vector editor we are using xfig is one of the most popular program to produce diagrams and already i'll mentioned that on your windows system you can use the winfig software Win, winfig is its clone we should learn about the vector graphics already you have experience of using the bitmap images but not the vector graphics so images stored as a collection of the lines or a vectors say so the lines and vectors you are well known that means engineering students knows what do you mean by the vectors you can store something in a mathematical way x equal to this much in a square bracket some numbers are there so that you can say that is a vector so vector graphics examples are the postscript ps eps or the pdf so nowadays many publishing agencies or let's say the ieee your one paper is accepted in the ieee proceedings ieee conference ieee journal and now after acceptance next task is for the printing they want to print it at the time of the printing suddenly they will mail you and they will ask you i want the ps file then what to do your word processor will not give the ps file why the postscript file is required for the printing purpose many organizations ask you the ps file or the pdf file 
at that time latex system will give you the postscript file of whatever is your research document already i told you the dvi file can be the output pdf file can be the output as well as the postscript also can be the output for the printing purpose we the many people prefer the postscript advantages can be magnified to any desired size without losing any sharpness your graphics will not blur that is the major advantage okay for the natural scenes it's okay but for the we have the less times we go for the natural scenes many times we have the diagrams flow charts graphics schematic diagrams whatever it may be so the bitmap images you, you are aware about this dot bmp jpg jpeg tiff formats information related to the graphics is stored in the pixel format pixel intensity pixel 1 pixel 2 pixel 3 pixel 4 like this and each and every pixel have its own intensity and if you try to magnify it there are the different algorithms they will interpolate it and you will get the large size but you are losing lot of information so bmp file you have you try to magnify it you will observe that checkboard pattern so why to use the bmp why to use the jpg really if you want to have the very less memory compression standard you can use the jpg but the quality is not suitable for the printing purpose many times you will observe that in your report on a machine it looks good but in your report quality is not good when you print it so jpg tiff are the bitmap images so the vector images have the fixed resolution have not fixed resolution that means they can be boosted up to any dimension without losing quality so xfig or the winfig will give you the vector images that we are going to learn it or you will use it it is very easy not a big task they are great for the print ads and the flash animations vector images designers use it as well as the, they are very good for all this task that means for the clip art typography the logo creation so many professional people use the vector graphics only we should also use it we are also professionals because we believe on the quality we want the very good quality technical illustrations already i mentioned you can use it but the bitmap editors for the photo processing and for the task where the quality that does not matter you can use the bitmap images also okay vector files are easier to modify compared to the bitmap images that is also another advantage so these advantages are there so whenever you are creating the report try to use the vector graphics in your report so that at any time you can modify it later after many years you can use it what you want and the softwares will help you for that this was the information i wanted to give you about the extic and i will also show you about the how to use it in the next session